Today I've got a practice pad from the RCP Drum Company. I've reviewed a couple other practice pads and I'm always looking for cool new pads to review. So I actually contacted them and said, hey, would you be interested in sending me a pad to do a video on? And after chatting back and forth with them, they said, yeah, we'd be happy to send you a pad for an honest review. Tell us what you like about the pad and if there's some things that you don't like, well, mention that too. And so that's what I've got for you today. Some background on RCP, they're a father and son owned company, a family owned business. And because of that, they have family owned level of customer service. I chatted with them both on the phone one night, Robert and Brian, for about a half hour or so. And I definitely got that sense that they have that type of level of customer service. They have an email address and a phone number and that phone number goes right to Brian and he will get back to you. They respond to emails pretty quickly as well. So if you have a question about your order or about what to order, they are responsive and they can help you with that no problem. Also, another nice thing about them is that everything they sell, they have in stock. They have a couple months supply of their pads. So if you order a pad, you can have a pad. You'll get what you order in a, you know, a couple days to a week or so, depending on where in the country you live. So another nice thing about them. They do offer a couple different pads. This is the box they come in and on the back of the box, it shows you the different pads that they have. Looking at them on their website, they have the active snare pad, which is what I'm gonna review for you today. This is a 14 inch pad, comes in a couple different colors and it is either $65 or for an extra $10, you can get a laminate, which will go on the top of it and give you a more articulate playing surface. Also the big thing about this pad, hence the name active snare, is that it has an adjustable snare mechanism. They also have their snapshot pad. This is an 11 or 13 inch pad, sells for 89 or $99, two or three pounds. And the nice thing about this pad is that you can put whatever graphic you want on there. You want a picture of your cat or a picture of you drumming or your girlfriend or whatever, you can get that. And then there's a clear head over that graphic, which is replaceable. And you can have your own customized pad, whatever you want it to look like, kind of a cool look. That pad is then upgraded to their premium pad. The premium pads sell for 100 or $120 also comes in 11 or 13 inch options, bunch of different color options for these. And the nice thing about these is that they come with three different inserts for a soft, medium, or firm playing surface. The head is an aluminum fiberglass coated with an epoxy. And then the rims on these are made of a high density polyethylene. So they're gonna be a little bit gentler on your sticks than a metal rim would be on a drum. They're not gonna chew your sticks up as much as they would. They also sell a carrying bag that you can use to tote your pad around if you like. So those are the different options for the pads they have. So let's have a look now at the active snare pad. It comes in a couple of different colors. Like I showed you, I got the red with the black, which I like the look of that. The playing surface on this is a silicone rubber. It gives a firm yet reboundy playing surface, but quieter with that silicone rubber. Or like I mentioned for an extra $10, you can get this laminate, which has a back that you peel off and it goes right on top of it. You can apparently peel this back off once it's on there and it should not leave any residue on the silicone if you wanna go back to that. And we'll play on this a little bit, both surfaces, and I'll show you the difference in the sound of it. So that's the playing surface. The rim around it is that HDP, that high density polyethylene, gonna be a little bit more gentler on your sticks. And then there are two little notches on each side of the rim here so that you can take your sticks, put them in there, and your sticks will not roll off. Pretty good angle here, sticks are not going anywhere. Not gonna roll off onto the floor. On the back, there are two large pieces of foam rubber so that whatever surface you put it down on, it's not going to slide around and it's not going to mar that surface. Also on the back, you can see this plate here and underneath that is the snare sound or the snare mechanism, which is a bunch of ball bearings. You don't need to take this off. It's just a couple Phillips head screws so you can take it off nice and easy if you wanna have a look there. But the way the snare mechanism works is those ball bearings are in there, they rattle around and you can tighten it or loosen it by tightening or loosening this knob and what happens there is there's a bar under there and it either moves that bar over to compress those ball bearings into a smaller area to give it a tighter snare sound. Well, there's less room for them to rattle around, so it's gonna tighten up that snare rattle some, or you can loosen it up for a little bit looser snare sound. One of the things I wish you could do with that snare sound would be to turn it off altogether. Granted, you're buying this pad because of the snare sound likely, but sometimes maybe you just want to go down to the quieter rubber sound. Now you can't do that as it comes from the factory as it were, but a very simple way to do it is to take off that back piece and cut out a piece of cloth, or in this case, a napkin, and you just put that right over those ball bearings, put that plate back on, and that will keep them from moving around and is definitely going to calm down that rattle sound to a much more muted sound. Let's get an idea of the sound of this now. First time we're going to start with the snares totally loosened.
So kind of a loose rattle. You can hear them moving around there. Let's tighten that down. So for starters, you can hear that sound, that snare sound is definitely much more concise, definitely much more articulate. Under the edge. Shots, you can hear a difference. Now to give you an idea of what's possible if you want to try and mute that snare sound, I put that napkin in there. So definitely a lot quieter, definitely a more muted sound. If you'd want to try and calm down some of that snare rattle, you could just take your you know, penny napkin and put that in there, easy to do. Took the napkin out, so we're back to regular snare sound. So let's now have a look at this laminate and see how this sounds. You can put it in there, however, it's just you know like a half a millimeter too big, so it doesn't lie flat and there'll be little, little bubbles. So you really, if you're gonna put it in there, you need to probably stick it down. So there's a backing on here. I'm doing this for the first time. Take this backing off. Firmly press it down everywhere. Now, if you wanted to get it off, I think you could take like a little screwdriver and get it up under the edge here. But I think once it's on there, it is pretty on there. And firmly stuck down. And now I have a whole different look of a pad because it's just all black. So let's see how this sounds. First, first attempt trying this. So definitely a much more articulate sound with that laminate on there. It does feel also a little firmer. It's definitely a little firmer than that silicone rubber feel. The snare sound is still predominantly in the middle because that's where that little plate of snares is. Some closing thoughts on my now black-headed RCP pad. First, the positives. I think the price is very reasonable for this. $65 or $75 with lemon, I think is a very reasonable price to get into a pad like this that has an X-Pro, the snare sound. A lot of pads now are starting to come up with the snare sound, so it's nice that they've made a pad for a very affordable price that you can have it with. Another pro is that the laminate sounds nice and articulate when you play on it, so I like the sound of that. The rim is made of that HDPE, so it's gonna be a little bit softer on your sticks. It has little notches there, so the sticks won't roll off. And last and perhaps biggest is the RCP, the company themselves. Father, son, family run company, they have family values and you can have the pad that you order now. You don't have to wait for it. It's going to ship right away and you're going to be able to get the pad that you order. So definitely a huge pro right there. Now, a few cons. The snare sound for me could just be a hint more crisp. It's still just a hint rattle. It's not quite as crisp as the Zymox pad, but still definitely is nice and decently crisp, especially compared to when it's loose when you tighten this down. Next to the laminate, pretty much to me, seems like it's an on or off thing. 
You could apparently get up under here and pry this off. I'm not sure how easy that's going to be, but apparently it is possible from what Brian tells me. But it would be nice if they made it so that you could take it on or off. Uh, granted, if you wanna do something like that, you can upgrade to the premium pad, which has those three different inserts that you can do for the different feels. And a somewhat small last one, it would be nice if they included a way to silence the snares. I know you're buying this pad for the snares, it's the active snare pad, and you can fix that with a roughly free napkin. You can put that in there and it definitely damages them down. But it would be a small thing nice if they included just a little piece of rubber or something that you could fit in there to make this just more of a quiet pad. Overall, I think this is a fantastic pad for the money and for all the features that you get for that money. I'm thrilled I was able to get one of these to check out and do a video on for all of you and to help just spread the word about RCP because they are, I think, a great family-owned company with the values to go with it and they have all the stuff in stock so you can actually have one of these if you want. If you like the snare sound, check out the Active Snare Pad. If you want something a little bit nicer, more premium as it were, check out their premium pads with the different inserts. And if you want something that's a little bit more customizable with different looks on the pad here, check out their snapshot pad. So overall, I will put some links down below. I recommend you check them out. RCP Drum Company.